Hi guys and welcome to my first YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how I highlight my hair at home. Now I'm starting out with a light golden brown. I dyed it this from blonde about three months ago, but I'm really missing the blonde. So I think I'm going to go back and pick up my favorite highlighting kit from Target, L'Oreal Frost and Design. So first you take this lovely cap out and before you put the cap on, you're gonna wanna make sure and part your hair how you would normally part it. You also want to make sure that your hair is clean, non-greasy. It also helps to straighten it beforehand. Um, that'll help make the pull-through process a lot less painful. Now you're going to take your highlighting cap and place it on your head and make sure and get it nice and snug. This kit also comes with two hooks. First the small metal precision hook and then it also comes with a plastic hook for chunkier highlights. I'm going to use a small hook because I like my highlights precise. I also found that the bigger hook also creates bigger holes which can risk bleeding the bleach through the cap and you'll just get a hot mess. So I highly recommend you use the metal hook that it comes with. Now, as you're pulling the hair through, you may get some strands that don't go all the way through. You'll wanna make sure and brush these out. Now you just keep pulling through. It can be difficult to get the back of your head, so it does help to have somebody help you out or to use a second mirror. I'm not too concerned about it. I just wanna make sure that I have a couple highlights throughout the back, but I'm mostly doing face framing highlights. Now this is an hour and a half later, you're going to want to put on a movie, a podcast, something. This is time consuming. The great thing about this is you can put as many highlights or as little highlights as you want. I'm doing almost every hook because I want a lot. Now you're going to take a fine tooth comb and you're just going to comb out the hair just to make sure that you have no little loopies or tangles. You just want to make sure that you get all the hair through the cap that's supposed to come through. Now you're gonna mix your bleach. You're gonna take the powder and they give you this little plastic bowl. You're just gonna wanna dump it right in there. Next, you're gonna take your developer, pour it in. It also comes with a protection gloss. You're gonna wanna glob that in there. Mix, 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 mix. Now you're gonna take your gloves, these fancy gloves. And I am literally gonna grab this bleach and put it on my hair. You wanna make sure and saturate it all evenly. After you're done, you're going to want to take this plastic bag and put it over your head. This is going to help it to develop quickly by holding the heat in. I'm going to do about 25 minutes. And as you can see, it turned out a pale yellow and it's ready to be rinsed. It comes with this shampoo, but I also recommend getting a purple shampoo. This one I got from Sally's. Now it is rinsed out. It also comes with this toner. You're just gonna dump this on your head and comb it through. It's a purple toner and this is the finished product. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, some parts are a little yellow, but that can be fixed with toner. I usually go for Wella T18, which can be purchased at Sally Beauty Supply. But um, overall, I'm super happy with how it turned out. Checking out the back, it all looks really nice and I will probably tone it next time I color it. Um, a little warmth is expected because there was a lot of gold in my hair, but as you can see this is it in a different light. It turned out very nice. Be sure and subscribe.